lined up a number of uh, activities for this evening but the highlight will be really uh, recognizing the efforts of our staff who have really been steadfast in their service to the organization we will recognize some of the longer serving staff but in addition to that we will recognize the some of the institutions that have been our backbone that have supported our work the work we do is and, and not just cdd but civil society generally uh, because it is intangible because we don't build brick and mortar it is easy to underappreciate but if this place has peace it has stability if we do elections peacefully and we turn over power peacefully it is because of the collective efforts of all of us including civil society we have invested a lot in this kind of in the democratic project and we would hope that in the near future we would have more Ghanaians supporting this effort materially I just want to appreciate your presence here and to say that we really 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 are thankful for all of the support you've given us over the years and not least to our own staff uh, who have really really been the backbone of the work that we do I'll just say thank you and uh, enjoy your evening. to do the presentation of awards to our institutions. As you are all aware, human capital is very important in an organization. And for that reason, we are here to reward our long-serving employees. Five years is a very special time in the life of an organization and we've all witnessed all of the impactful work that CDD has been doing in these 25 years. Raise your glasses to CDD and here's to the next 25 years of perhaps more amazing work that will transform Ghana and that will transform West Africa as democracy. We are entering our next 25 years and one of the things we have said we would do is to really activate all of the resources in the civic space. It looks like we are focused a lot on state institutions, state behavior, state actors. And while that is still a very important part of our mission, to do that, one of the resources we need would be the creative sector. So we have this project called Democratives. So we are going to draw in the creative sector, the arts, music, the whole spectrum of creative potential in the country and the region 
for the job of democracy promotion. Oh, yeah, baby, yeah. We're taking love, 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 we